Hello dear friends, my name is Jitendra Bhafna. I am a senior MuleSoft architect. In this video, we will going to see what is a load static resource component provided by MuleSoft. So if you see, it's a core component, a load, it's like it's a part of your HTTP. It's a load static uh, resource component. So basically what is that? So basically if you want to load any HTML page like you know any static HTML page in your application you can make use of load static resource component in your mule flow. So let's start. So basically I have created one small application under that I have created one folder called HTML. The first thing I will drag and drop a HTTP listener. So I will show you how we can make use of this particular component to create a small or static static HTML application. So we will see that. So here I can say page one. Okay. So next thing I will write a HTML page. So here I can say right click new file. I can say page one dot html okay so let's wait while the page is created it's created it's good let me close this instead of that i can open with text text editor like i can say open with text editor under that I can start defining my HTML code I can say HTML under HTML I can say form under form I can define my table okay. slash table under table I will define a few rows tr then header th slash th th slash so I can say th then you can say slash tr so here I will display name and is then I can copy this line I can define my second row I can define my third row this time it will be not header it will be value so I can define in TD okay this is TD TD here I can say Jitendra is 27 then I can use James is 28 right this is my small HTML page okay so also let me save everything the next thing I have to copy this path HTML path right click properties copy this path I will be requiring this path you just keep it cop ready I can copy this path I can say cancel I can go to my HTML demo I can search for a load static resource so I can drag and drop then you have to give a resource based path which we have copied just now then you have to provide a HTML file which is page one dot HTML okay so this is what you have to do to load a HTML page a static HTML page you can say save all let's wait while it's deploying the application it's building the application let's wait your application has been deployed now what I can do, I can use page 1, enter. Wait, the server is, yeah, the application, 
let me check whether I give a page one or you know something else it's page one only here I want to do one change also that nothing to do with that but I will put a border is equals to one save all let me load that so you can see you got name and age properly right you got the table properly you can access a static HTML page but uh, I have to do some more changes here so I can remove this to TD that is fine that nothing to do with you know our logic it just uh, for presentation purpose I can save everything once I will save it so you can see it's properly you know you can see the page has been loaded properly but I will what I will do instead of that what I will do I will create one form okay. so basically I can remove this particular row and I can start defining a form which we will submit and like uh, whatever data we will submit it will come to mules of flow like query parameters I will show you that so basically labor label for I can say app name and you can give first name then you can close a label okay the next I will define a text box I want a text box I can say input type is equals to text in text I will define the ID as f name and name as name is equals to f name and you can close your resources like this okay so what I have done I define one label and one text box similarly I will define a second label and second text box last name L name L name L name okay so here I have defined a uh, L last name and the first name two parameter I will define a button also I can say button of type submit then I can say submit form slash button here I have to spell it correctly let me save this page once I will save this it should upload so you can see I have first name and last name now I am submitting this form nothing is happening but you can see two query parameter is there right but here nothing is happening so what I will do so like uh, I, I, I require this first name and a last name okay and I want to read this first name and last name basically in our mule flow so what I will do okay it, I will define one more flow before that let me define one page so basically when I click on submit button it will take me to the next page with all the required query parameter file new so I can say page 2 dot html go to this then open with text editor here I can say HTML slash HTML then I can say header 1 slash header 1 then I can define a text in my P tag here I can say form submitted successfully 
okay so this is what I have to define in this form I will save this I will go to mule flow 1 I let me copy this particular path you can see listener I want to drag and drop listener in this path I can say page 2 then I want to load a page 2 load static resource then I can paste this path then page 2 dot HTML okay. so what I will do so basically whatever a form parameter has to be passed as a query parameter to the page 2 so I will show you that so for that go to page 1 we have to do some changes so we have to define a form action is equals to we have to give a URL of second form HTTP local host 8081 slash okay page 2 that's it okay, and also if you want you can define action which will be always good to define is equals to post this is all HTML tags no? so you don't have to worry about that save all once I will save it it will redeploy the application application started let me go to my page one first it is starting yet application haven't started now it started now page should load where is my submit button let me check something is gone wrong with that submit button so go to page one I don't know what's so wrong but some yeah I haven't put this double quotes save this load page one yeah you can see the submit button now I can put Jitendra Bhavna submit so you can say form submitted successfully with the query parameters F name and the last name whatever name we have given okay so better what I will do so instead of like if I want to read a query parameter so basically I will use a transform message before static resource I can say JSON and I can say first Jitendra last sorry I don't want to mention the name I can simply read from a query parameter attributes dot query better I will write it attributes dot query params dot f name okay here it's a last name copy this particular thing instead of app name change it to L name no need of and comma so basically before giving that particular message right you can perform any operation then I can say logger I want to log this particular payload generated from a transform message now try to save the application once you will save the application it will get redeployed
the application is redeploying okay it's redeployed let me go back let me I already named like you know submit form so form is submitted successfully here you can see we have able to read the query parameter which we have passed in transform message and we log that message let me go back instead of this I can say jams choose up okay submit form the form is submitted successfully and you can say your query parameter has been successfully read by the mule flow okay so this is how this is how you can use a load static resource component for creating static wave application or for reading the static html page i hope you like the video if you like the video please click on like and subscribe button thanks for watching